Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson, and today I'm going to show you a 2005 C-Ray 290 SLX Bow Rider. Let's get started. channel which is used boats tv the purpose of this channel is just to make a lot of boating videos so if you want to subscribe you can follow with us join with us as we as we go fishing we do boat reviews how to fix your boat how to drive boats pretty much anything to do with boating we make videos for it so today i'm showing you a 2005 cra 290 slx we have for sale here at work which is heartland marine where i sell boats we're gonna do a butt seat test to check the interior room we're going to look at the exterior gel coat condition and the interior gel coat condition. So thanks for checking this out. Let's get started. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Now it's time for the butt seat test. Oh my God. Becky, look at her butt. The butt seat test is where I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. So this is a 9-8 wide boat. It's 30 foot freaking long. It's got a lot of room for butts. We got one, two, brought this seat along, three, four, easily five, six, seven, and the sole of the boat as we come into the bow. Eight, nine, it's a good design right here how this contours, ten, 11, 12, easily 13. Now this boat's yacht certified, so legally you can put as many people in it as you'd like. If you're interested to know what yacht certified means or how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below I'll include a link to a video that describes that. Let's move on by looking at the... Taking a look at the Joko condition of this bad boy. It is in beautiful, shiny shape. Blower vent covers look nice. That's something people always want to grab a hold of and try to help you dock the boat. This weighs almost 7,000 pounds. This weighs like four ounces. Can't pull four ounces. Can't use four ounces to pull almost 7,000 pounds. But moving on, rubber rail's in nice shape. The boat is bottom painted. It's got the fiberglass arch once again. This is our window for the head. The vacuum flush head, stems in great shape. Got the stainless steel bow scuff plate. Obviously no trailer on a boat this size. Got one little spot on the gel coat right here. We'll fix before we sell it because we inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats we sell before we sell them here at Harlem Marine. This boat is bottom painted. Even though it was a local boat, kept on a lift. Came bottom painted. So as we move around to the starboard side, once again, gel coat's in great shape. We got a little bit of water spots because they were cleaning the boat next to it. If you look, oh, whoa, about went down. If you, <laughs> I'm getting old. A few little nicks just in the graphic here. No, it's just in the graphic, not the gel coat letter right here. You can still get those. They typically keep them in stock here locally at the C-Ray dealer. So it's got the Bravo 3 drive. It's got a skeg guard, dual prop, easy to maneuver. It's our transducer and our big trim tabs. Now let's jump inside and take a look at the interior condition. So as we hop aboard this 290 C-Ray SLX, a few things to point out. We've got storage back here for dock lines or what have you. Sometimes people put big old speakers in there. This has some plugs in there. So when you're coming out, you can flip these open. There's our tow point. Got cup holders all around. I'm gonna put this one. Another speaker in storage. This one's got freaking speakers everywhere. It's like a Kenny Chesney concert when you go in. So this awesome U-shaped seating giving way to a lot of cockpit room. And some tape coming out of the ceiling. We're getting ready to move to our new storage. So I've done a couple videos in there. And if you can tell, it's way nicer. So beautiful U-shaped seating with the filler cushions. The store's on a hinge so we don't have to find a place to put it. This one, we gotta find a place to put it. Besides, right in here. So 
so very comfortable plush seating. Put a bunch of butts back here. Got storage underneath all these seats. And it's got these boards that slide out. So you can put filler cushions back here if I have it. These will slide together like this, and the cushion will complete the U. Both sides do it. But storage underneath it. Sometimes these are missing people leave them out just to use them as storage. So it's good that it's not missing. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let's look at the other side. Ah, it's not missing either. Like so. boat like I said it's got a crazy stereo system it's got the fiberglass arch this is not powder coated aluminum it's an actual fi fiberglass arch it comes with another bimini that goes back here called the aft bimini as well as the eyebrow most people never take these off these customers never put them on so it's got a little bag of goodies interior lighting dual batteries with a switch this is a great feature back here so if you hit a rough wave you don't have to worry about breaking the key off in the dash so this is where they put it so off on if i remember right got more storage in the gunnel beautiful bolster seats now with this standard seating configuration this model some people say well that's kind of a waste of space no that's a great place to put a big huge friggin cooler got grab handles over here cup holders underneath this has the fancy vacuum flush head more storage down here is where our stereo is. We got remotes to the outside, place to plug a phone in, more storage, sink. This is a full fiberglass head and a mirror to see how cute you are. Okay, it's boat quality. Look how thick this friggin' thing is. Very thick door. Okay, so we got ski stores in the floor. Let's take a look at that. It's all diamond plate skid proof, a snap out carpet. So there's our holding tank and our pump for our toilet. But we can put a lot of crap in here. <laughs> That's funny because the toilet pump's in there. I hope that. I thought it was funny. Moving on. So we got a sink right here. We got a wine chiller. That's cute. More storage here for a little trash can. You can actually see that that is insulated. That cooler thing, the job. So more flip-up bolster seats. We've got stainless steel windshield wrap. They really need to clean the windshield better than this. So looking at the helm. It's in great shape. So we have our Raymarine GPS here. Hit mode. This will tell you more than you ever want to know. 301 hours. How much fuel you're using. You don't want to know that. Never look at that again. It's against the rules. Tilt and trim. Uh, how much fuel we got. So it's a lot. Just kidding. So I'm going to shut this all up. Turn that off. Power engine hatch. Blower. It works, water pump, I'm sorry, bilge pump, four accessory, aft accessory, God knows, sometimes I'm not to do something funny. Trim tab controls, ignition, see, that's starting to fire it. So that's where I was correct on the key. Navigation lights, see that also turns on the compass. That's the red and green up front and the white light building in the back. Anchor light stopped at night, just that light up top. Uh, if it had power anchor, that's how you'd work that. You can bend these. Uh, these are in the cockpit, engine lights, compartments, uh, arch, horn, accessory for the cap captain's call right here, water pump. It's either this one or this one, okay? It's this one right here. You got buttons for the wipers if it had them, more storage, place to plug your phone in, ship shore radio. This is a double door to block the wind here, so it shuts. It's got bow filler cushions, and yes, it does have the aft filler cushion. It's another design place for a table. Looking up into the bow, I saw a few nicks in the upholstery in the very back. One little uh, tight seam here. Storage in the backrest, you can put uh, tables and poles, maybe your filler cushions in there. Okay, here's your big old amplifier system, and there's your tables and poles right there. Good Lord, there's another amp. Hey, let's just shove a bunch of amps in here. No, it's professionally installed, actually. So we've got some nicks on the upholstery here we'll fix. So more speakers, grab handles, very cozy loungers with armrests. Crazy deep storage compartments. You can take this out to step up to help set your anchor, and that is a true insulated cooler. Coming up above the stem on the bow. Here's your anchor locker. 
plates uh, it's an absolute beautiful boat nine eight wide you know it'll handle rough water let's take a look at that she has a power hatch Look at that big old motor. Turn our lights on in case we get lonely and sad, scared of the boogeyman down here. We can turn them lights on. It's got the automatic fire suppression system, 375 horse mag, Mercruiser engine, closed school, captain's call exhaust, very clean engine compartment. There's our tilt and trim pump right there. Here's our fluid for our trim tabs. Batteries are located here, here. There she is. Let's talk about my assessment of this bad gal. So my assessment of this model is easy. If you're boating at the Lake of the Ozarks or anywhere it's real rough, you know, like Table Rock, Kentucky Lake, something like that, it's a great model. At 9.8 wide, it handles its own in rough water, even Lake Michigan. We get a lot of calls for big bow riders like this up in that area, although they sell here extremely well too. People laugh and joke about how every third boat on a busy weekend is a 290 Sea Rake. There's a reason for that. It's not the name on the side. It's how well the boat rides in rough water. So this thing's in great shape. The bottom paint's gonna slow it down a little bit, but for 45.9, it's priced to reflect that. Um, can't go wrong if you're in rough water want a boat that has a lot of room we'll see you on the water and thanks for watching it's fishing on a boat boating on a boat fixing a boat be sure to join us by subscribing and clicking down below <sighs> I think of a new way to do that okay once again fixing a boat be sure to join us by subscribing and clicking down below <sighs> once again Models popping bottles. Hey!